sunglasses from the corner store where I lived, which was actually called the Blue Jay, the Blue Jay Lodge. And so I bought my sunglasses and I was on my bike and I was up the top of the hill and as I was going down the hill I thought, you know what, I, this would be way better if, if I had my sunglasses on. So, and then I, so then it's hard, it's really hard to put sunglasses on while you're going down the hill. And so I, I didn't, I grew up next door to some twins, Matthew and Stephen, and one time we were riding back from the Blue Jay Lodge with the chips and pop. And Matthew lost his, and he started to wiggle, speed wiggle, I think, or well, what you call it. <laughs> and so he broke his arm right in front of me, you know. And then I had to go tell his mom and everything. <laughs> and one time, I think my parents wanted to get it on on a Sunday, and so <laughs> they um, sent my brother and I to the Blue Jay Lodge with a $5 bill, and it's just like, oh, are you kidding me? Badminton rackets we came home with. <laughs> Everything you can get there. You know, so. Anyway. <laughs> One time we actually talked to our babysitter into buying us these gorgeous dinky cars. And they're bigger than dinky. Like they're. Muchos dinky or. <laughs> dummy, dummy dinky. Big, bigger dinkies. And, and then we got in real trouble because she spent all her hard earned day money on, uh, on my brother and I. We got talking to that night. So The Blue Jay Lodge is also a place that had uh, pinball machines as well with scantily clad ladies on the machines. And just like when we would have Apple Day when we were uh, Cub Scouts, uh, you know, when you, Apple Day is when you, a whole bunch of apples comes from a local farm and then you, you polish them and then you sell them at the corner and try to make money for your cub group. And then we would always polish them uh, at the Lions Club, and they had velvet paintings and naked ladies, and that was uh, that was some polishing. <laughs> we would get a lot polished. <laughs> so one time, my brother and I were both. <laughs> Sorry, no, I did. I just I apologize. It's just up my feel. <laughs> Yeah, focus. Uh, <laughs> I, well, this one time we're out in front of this of the general store with our apples. No, they're red apples. They're Cortlands. You know, you can see a Cortland a mile away. They kind of look like a small pumpkin. You know. And some guy comes in and doesn't want to buy a bloody apple from the bloody cubs, and so scrounges around before he gets out of his own groceries and shows us a Granny Smith. And it's like. We're cubs. Be prepared is our, is our motto. That's Granny Smith and these are Courtney. You didn't buy an apple from, from a cub. Maybe you, maybe you all do that. <laughs> to avoid supporting the cubs. You can tell by the wind by fresh cut wood or sky Thank you. 